Hi, I'm Elijah Gardella. I'm 17 years old and I'm 2018 Camp Mendocino Youth of the Year. I've been attending Camp Mendocino for four years. Camp has been like a home and it's provided me with mentors and support and people to push me to do better for myself. Some of my favorite things of camp are being part of the camp community, just being out in nature and always feeling welcomed at camp. After high school, I plan to go to a four-year university to study math or programming. Draw yourself a bath, light candles, use hot water, and make it a bubble bath. Now imagine the lights go out. The water is slowly draining, you have no clothes or towels, yet you stay there in the cold, dark room alone. That's depression. Imagine feeling that way for a day, weeks, or months. Before camp, I didn't care about anything. In my worst, I struggled to get through every day, almost every moment, trying not to cry. I was so depressed that I didn't shower in weeks or brush my teeth for days. Any small task seemed insurmountable. However, camp gave me some of the greatest gifts one can receive. Home, happiness, and hope. And it's with these gifts that I've not only been able to take care of my basic needs, but also look forward to the rest of the day. Now let me tell you about Camp Mendocino. I was first introduced to it by my new foster parents. After staying indoors all day and all night on electronics, they signed me up for camp. At first, it was a little overwhelming being my shy, reserved, introverted, and basically silent self sitting in a crowd of 300 people yelling out as loud as they can. <clears throat> However, being outdoors reminded me of a time before I went into foster care. It reminded me of a time before my mother became alcoholic. Camp reminded me of, and soon became, a home. There, I was treated with respect and kindness. I had positive role models and friends, and I finally felt like I belonged somewhere. The next summer, I became an LIT. I remember when I was feeling gloomy one day, one of my teen directors told me one of their most terrifying experiences. This mentor taught me the importance of being vulnerable with others and processing emotions of my traumatic experiences. Because of this, I started therapy. It's because of camp, I found therapy. And through therapy, I found writing, which has helped me find more confidence, acceptance of who I am, and self-love. I'm thankful for the Boys and Girls Club. Throughout the year, especially this year, in which I've been struggling a lot, they were there for me, whether it be Youth of the Year or Camp to College. I wouldn't be here today without this. I wouldn't be going to college or have my fundamental belief in universal kindness. So I want to end with this something I've written that has helped me forgiven the people I've known the longest and who have hurt me the most, something that helps me understand and respect people I just meet, something I believe to the core, a poem, if you will. We hate so easily over the little things we habituate, trying to make our lives great as if it wasn't already, for we view our lives through insecurity as darkness, but as divine greatness and simplicity and this great complexity in us all. Thank you.